As we mentioned during, we made over 60 calls on CEOs of companies this year, Jack and Matt and I, and what we emphasized was really the need in Cedar Rapids. For instance, 18,924 youth are not pre prepared for school, work, or life. 14,000 households can't afford basic needs. That includes food, shelter, and transportation. 31,628 low-income women need affordable health care services. As you can see, there, there is a great need. One way we are addressing this this year is with our challenge grant. And these groups have come together this year to provide a $55,000 challenge grant to the community. The lead gift was offered by a group called FUSE. Uh, the FUSE group is uh, Union Electricians, IBW 405, and the local uh, electrical contractors. But we also have uh, Built by Pros, it's another construction group. Uh, the Building Trades, Sheet Metal Contractors, Sheet Metal Union, Hawkeye Labor Council, uh, Teamsters, uh, Machinists, and Local 110, which is the Quaker um, Union. And some of those folks couldn't be with us today because there's an organization, Iowa Federation of Labor, meeting in Des Moines, or we would have asked them uh, to be here today. That's, gonna, that's a $55,000 challenge grant. And what that's going to do is challenge us to get new donors. If you contribute one dollar a year, or excuse me, one dollar a week, fifty-two dollars a year as a new donor, they will match that with this challenge grant. If you step up to that one dollar a week or fifty-two dollars, that challenge grant will match that. Also, we have a labor leadership society, and if new donors join that, this will be matched also by the challenge grant. So that's one way that we're going to help meet those needs this year.